We started building the studio early 2019 and we pretty much didn't have anything here in the studio. It was just a basement, a concrete slab divided into separate rooms. We did have a very extensive business plan that took uh, quite a long time to develop. I'd say to develop the whole business plan we spent around a year, a year and a half. Then when we came here we saw it for the first time ideas started flowing regarding the interior design and studio design. There was a lot of um, research to be done previous to starting the designing. Um, building a studio is a very specific job, you need to care about several things. One of the things is uh, acoustic treatment, which is how the sound moves inside the room, and soundproofing, making sure that the sound doesn't exit the room or there's no interference from rooms outside of the studio room or recording areas. Luckily, I was able to meet Thomas from RSO Productions, um, be able to revise his original multi-million dollar studio plans and adapt them to our environment. So adapt them to our room, make everything smaller, um, eventually do calculations on how everything would move inside the room. And then we started building it. The building was another story. Uh, the building took very long because it was the first time for this construction company and I think many construction companies in Vietnam um, to build a studio. And even like the slightest difference between moving this object two centimeter off the wall, three centimeter off the wall, can make a huge impact on how the sound moves inside the room. So it was a, a, a system or a, a procedure of trial and error, and I had to check every single thing together with Thomas over and over and over again. There was even you know some walls that we built, and then we'd break them down, we build them again, we break them down, and we, we build them again. Um, but eventually, it, it it gave us a lot of uh, insight into, you know, how to properly build a studio. And right now the studio is ready for anything.